Awo, awo, salam tana, tana is telling. We want to talk about what we call the um the uh, Wikipedia, the Wikipedia um conspiracy. This is your brethren, for those who are brothers and sisters, Arasi Adino Stefavia Wendem Yado of the Lions of Society of His Majesty, and um, where the broadcast is on this Ethiopian World Net. This Ethiopian World Net. So um, what we want to address right here for a moment, right, what we like to address right here is something we call, for lack of a better um, descriptor, a better name of it, this is a working title of it, we call it the Wikipedia Conspiracy. Now, you all may be familiar to some degree or another with what Wikipedia is. I think everybody in the world and their mama, even if your mama is not on the internet, she know what the Wikipedia conspiracy, or what Wikipedia is. She might not know about the conspiracy. She might be interested in it. This might be a little bit. This might be a little bit beyond most. Um, but it's just something to, to to tell us and remind us to pay attention that some of the things that don't even seem as though they're really that important um, do make a big difference, does rather, makes a big difference, things that don't seem as though they're very important. So here's what we call wiki. Okay, we say wiki, right? They say wiki, right? Uh, plus um, pedia. That's the basic simple spelling, wikipedia. But this word wiki, actually, and this is what really caught our attention about it, because, you know, we're into linguistics. You know, we love the Amharic and the Ethiopic, but we love languages and linguistics because they're communication, forms of communication and language and linguistics and even semantics go beyond just being words, but they go to the heart of thoughts. You understand? Thoughts, ideas, and feelings, emotions, and even helps you to register different spirits. You understand something that is said in a certain way, even though it's said in a so-called nice way, you pick up there's something more to that than that. And then if you do your research and study, you find there's much more to it. And this is like the case of Wikipedia. This will probably be what may be the third, the third part of a, a, a short series. It's a short series right now because we know it's going to interface with other, uh, other things out there. But we said we have to do our part because somebody else probably got the, got the next part of it. You understand? Have already picked up on the next part of it. And we're going to touch on some, uh, this part aspect that might help them to better understand what they're doing. So sometimes you may have something you want to share and say, well, I don't know if it's all of that. It might not be all of that and so forth and so on. It might not be in itself, but it really connects with something more than that. Now, in 47 in a period of time known as 47 uh, B.C., this means 47 years before Christ, right, 47 years before Christ, there was a guy named um, J.C., right, J.C. Now, J.C. stands for uh, Julius or Julius Caesar, all right, Julius Caesar, right, so J.C. equals Julius Caesar. Some of the black Hebrew Israelites, when they say J.C., they actually are referring to um, Jesus Christ, but they use that instead of using the, the Zeus and Jesus and so forth and so on as their more fundamentalist in their approach to the Hebrew, and there's a good reason for that. Now, J.C. or Julius Caesar... Um, he said something interesting. What he said, or at least what Plutarch, Plutarch reported that J.C. Julius Caesar said, "Wainy weedy weeky." It sounds like some 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 dumb rhyme, right? But he said, "Veni vidi viki, veni vidi viki." And if you look it up, you'll see it like this: vidi. Viki, right? Veni, Vidi, Viki. More correctly, this V, right? This V sound, right? The V really, this is a key right here. We're going to put a little key, a guide here. The V is a W sound, right? The V is a W sound, and the 
um, W sound is either a V sound or sometimes a U sound when you're going back to Latin. So this is like a Latin, this is like a Latin lesson. You really need to understand and comprehend Latin. And there's some of the Afrocentrics out there, Afrocentric brothers and sisters who basically say Latin is one of our languages. Latin is one of our languages. I think there's a link with the Romans, the original Romans, and the Oromo. This is just, this is my dibs on it. Some people are going to say that's, that's far out there, that's way out there. But don't say that Wyndham Yadin didn't tell you already. You understand? Don't say that when you find out and it's proven in, in, in exhaustive details by somebody else. We basically told you and we simplified it. You understand? Somebody else will go through all the details and explain it. And then you, you, you'll come back and say, hey, you was right. How did you know? Because you have to study, right? So Zany or Wayney, you understand? Wayney, which would be more correctly pronounced Wayney. You write this VD, this is where you get video from, VD, VD, or Weedy, really Weedy would actually be um, um, Weedy, long I or E sound. And then the Viki, right, would be actually Wiki, right? Also the C, the C in true Latin and old Latin, the C equals a K sound. The C equals a K sound. For example, Caesar, people say Julius Caesar. It's actually Julius Kaiser, Kaiser. That's where we get Kaiser from, and we can go through all this, like, like the Germans. The Germans call their leader Kaiser. You understand? Then you also get Tsar. You understand? Like the Tsar of Russia and so forth and so on. So it's really a K sound right there. That C is a K sound. So if you're not able to understand that, then you won't really understand where we're going with this Wikipedia the Wikipedia conspiracy or this Wikipedia idea. You understand? And they deserve to give us a page on this up there, post up a page that, you know, Wendem Yadin already told you that there's something going on for education. Because not anytime somebody wants to find out something, they don't look in the dictionary. They don't look in any encyclopedia. They don't look it up in no book. You understand? And what they do is that they go to the Internet as as Bush George Bush said, right? They go to the internet and they look it up on the Wikipedia. That's how they find it. They find it basically on the Wikipedia. So, what is going on with this Wikipedia?